Hello and welcome to this short video of TLS 1.3 performance in breaking point. Starting from 9.0, TLS 1.3 RFC version will be available in breaking point and you can do all your high performance tests uh, with this feature. So let's quickly see the settings that we have for this uh, test. What we have used here is a default flow, right? It's a TLS 1.3 average HTTPS flow. You can find it uh, uh, in your super flows once you upgrade to 9.0. So this is where I have, uh, I'm in the super flow screen. So let's uh, quickly see uh, how you set this TLS 1.3 option. So this is the server side. So in the min and max version, you have to specify TLS 1.3 to ensure that the um, negotiation happens with TLS 1.3. Um, and you can choose the cipher. There is the cipher support for uh, these three ciphers, TLS AES 128, 256, and ChaCha Poly. These are the most common ciphers. You will find them available in Chrome and uh, Firefox. Uh, this TLS 1.3, interestingly, doesn't specify the key exchange. The key exchange is based on what you select in the certificate, right? So if you are selecting a um, RSA type certificate, it will be ECDHE uh, RSA. That gets, uh, that's the type of key exchange. If you select a curve, uh, like a, a SECP curve instead of certificate, uh, and then you will have a ECDSA type of uh, uh, key exchange. So it simplifies those settings. Uh, you can specify the curve, you know, by default, it will uh, uh, advertise all the curves that are there, but you can specify if you want only a particular curve. For example, let's go to the star server's uh, client side and you see the client side we similar uh, configurations. You can specify uh, the session reuse and uh, resume does not is not supported in this version. So this parameters will not take effect but you can specify SNI similarly you can specify the elliptical curve so for example in this particular test instead of default um, uh, um, I can specify a particular uh, curve here but I will not I, I want to run it by default so this is my uh, default test and let's quickly also see the get command here uh, it's a simple get command and the response we are using a random uh, random response from 10240 to 5124200. So that's the default super flow that you have with TLS 1.3 that would help you get started. So without further ado, let's uh, run this test. I'm using a CloudStorm, two ports of 100 gig connected in a loop back fashion. So the test has started and we see we get a fairly high amount of transaction rate because we have used a go to loop and uh, a good amount of throughput would come in. I'm expecting more throughput here. Uh, let's go to the uh, super flows to see we have the right super flows running. Yes, uh, sure enough, that's the super flow. The TLS handshakes are happening. Yes, they are happening at a steady rate and we have some encryption and decryption. If we go to the resources, we see the two net network processors being utilized, uh, you know, so it's utilized only about 80%. Uh, the, there we go, we see the utilization rising up and similarly the throughput also raises up to the max throughput that we can get with the TLS 1.3. So uh, that's, that's the quick demo of the performance numbers of TLS 1.3. I will also want to show you the packet capture uh, of TLS 1.3 to see all the options that we have. So let's go to the client first. So this is the packet capture of this test, which we which we ran in a scaled down manner. So let's see. Uh, so you will see the version is identified as TLS 1.3. You need to have the right or the latest Wireshark. Uh, see the Cypress suit that we selected. Similarly, it's the client side. It's uh, advertising all the signatures algorithms that it has. Uh, the different supported versions, the draft RSC versions. So those things are all uh, advertised. Similarly, it also advertises all the uh, groups, key, key groups, uh, curve sizes. And you can see it also supports this very recent and quite popular Edward curve, which is X25519. Similarly, at the server side, you will find the uh, you know, similar settings that, that we set getting reflected here. Um, and uh, as you know, with TLS 1.3's case, after this um, negotiation, all the traffic starts getting encrypted right away. So that's TLS 1.3. I will also use this opportunity to demo some features of uh, 
uh, TLS 1.2. So let's stop this test. You see this is stabilized at around 82 gigs here. We can get higher. If you remember the response sizes are randomized, but if we select the rest of response size somewhere around 44K, I think we can get stable 92, 93 gigs uh, throughput with uh, with the, this particular cipher and TLS 1.3.